quick update on my injuries. Legs are strong, my back is strong, I'm ready for this trip with the one exception of my left shoulder. It's better, but it's very slow to heal and it's a lot of pain even just holding the camera up like this. It's kind of painful. Over the weekend, I went to a hot springs in uh, Sanqiang. It really made a difference, but it's still there. So I'm hoping that doesn't hinder my trip or some of the things that I want to do on this trip. We will find out. Part of the adventure. I'm just here at the Zhongzhen passenger port waiting for my uh, ferry to Hong Kong airport and drinking some wonderful hot tea. Mm, that's good. Why Vietnam? It has always been on my hit list pretty much my whole life. First reason is because of Anthony Bourdain. Last summer, very sad moment for everybody. I love that guy. I loved his philosophy on travel and the food and everything. And Vietnam was one of his favorite places to go to. One of the crazy things that I've just realized, I mean, as many times as I've traveled through the Zhongshan port, sorry, this guy's speaking very loudly. Usually it's a lot quieter than this. One of the things I realized about, you know, because I've been through this port a few times now, and how many times your bags are actually scanned between here and your final destination. First scan your bags when you come into the port, then you scan your bags before you get on the boat, you know, after immigration. And then you scan your bags when you get to the airport, three times just to get on the airplane from the passenger port. They're not messing around on this one. Another reason why I'm interested in Vietnam is because I grew up in a town called Irvine in Southern California, which is it's kind of like La La Land, if you ask me. It's near a place called Little Saigon, which is the largest Vietnamese community outside of Vietnam. When I was 12 years old, my father took me to see a movie called uh, Flight of the Intruder, Willem Dafoe. I think Danny Glover was in it too. And, and it was a movie about bombing Hanoi. But all throughout the 80s and 90s was my childhood growing up watching Vietnam War movies. Everything from Platoon, Apocalypse Now, um, Full Metal Jacket, things like this. I mean, those movies and, you know, History Channel documentaries about the war was really my only knowledge of the country and the people. So I want to get a first-hand experience. more and get these giant big comfortable leather seats and hot tea and a little snack box and this is a brand new boat too this is only a couple months old and it's very nice it's much nicer than the old boat which is actually right over there and I can see it so even the, the seats go back and they go back a long way so you can almost lie down and take a nap Airport. Today I'm flying on Vietnam Airlines. Holy crap, it's freezing cold in this bus. <laughs> Noticeably warmer. I didn't book a car, so I gotta get into a taxi to get down to District 1. It's only about five miles, but it should take about 45 minutes in rush hour traffic to get down there. The airport is small, but it's clean and well laid out. It's not as crazy as I thought it was gonna be. My desk gentleman gave me a couple recommendations for some fun. My first impressions of Saigon is it's loud. Unlike in China where they have tons of e-bikes, I don't see any e-bikes. Everything is a motorbike and a scooter. So it's it's loud, it kind of it kind of reminds me of the sound of the Autopia at the Disneyland a little bit. But it's very chaotic, wonderfully chaotic. So of course 
course, it's just my first meal. I'm gonna have many, many meals I came to Vietnam to eat. This is just a standard little pho, family phone pho restaurant off the side of the street right near the end of the hotel. I haven't had a good bowl of pho in a long time. It's really hard to find a good bowl of pho in China. Even at Tiger Prom in Guangzhou, which is really good Vietnamese food. The pho is not quite as good as it is back home in Little Saigon. Now I am in real Saigon. Let's try some real pho. This is one of the main reasons why you come here, right? You get the bowl of chicken pho, you got all the trimmings to go with it. And we just got some chili sauce and some, looks like some nut ma. Let's throw it all in there and <laughs> enjoy. Oh my God, that was amazingly good. My mouth is just on fire. So many flavors, spiciness, fishiness, tender, juicy chicken meat. It doesn't get any better than that, man. Off to a good start. Let's see what other culinary delights Vietnam has in store for me.